She's a good girl. Loves her mom, loves Jesus, and America too. She's a good girl. Crazy about Elvis, loves horses. Had a boyfriend too, and I'm free, free falling. Yes, I'm free. Can I play a cover song on YouTube? How about if I do it on Facebook or Instagram? Can I do it there? Well, that is today's topic. I am by no means an expert at this, but I've tried to find some information that can be helpful for you if you're gonna do a live stream on Facebook, for example. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Roger, I'm a musician, and my channel is about being a musician and all things surrounding a musician. So please hit that subscribe button. So what do we have to think about when it comes to performing cover songs on social media according to copyright laws? Well, first of all, we have to define what is a copyright law. Because in music there are two kinds of copyright laws. One, which most people already know about, I believe, is the recording of a song. It could be on CD, vinyl, MP3, whatever. It's the recording of a song, the final product, so to speak. And that is copyrighted by the band, the artist, the record label or the publishing company. Don't ever use a recorded song anywhere. I will explain more later. The second copyright is that before a song actually can be recorded, it has to be written. And it's written by a songwriter or songwriters. They make a composition and the composition is also copyrighted by the right holders, which in this case are the songwriters. That may or may not be the artist or band that have recorded the song. Normally nowadays there's totally separate people that have written the song. They have the license, the copyright for the actual composition. Can we use that one? Mm, uh, maybe. It's tricky. Can I for example play this on YouTube? I was five years old when I first knew what friendship was. I didn't know then, but I found it later. I was five years old when I got my first real friend. Well, actually, I can because I wrote that song. I have the rights for that song, also the recording, which I linked down below if you want to check it out. So I can do whatever I want with it. But say that you want to perform another person's song on social media and especially YouTube now. YouTube have much clearer guidelines and rules than Facebook and Instagram have. I did a cover song of Free Falling in the beginning of this video. Free Falling is written by Jeff Lynne and Tom Petty. Is that legal to do? Not really. Not really. But there are exceptions to this rule. Actually, when I load up a video on YouTube nowadays, they search my video for copyrighted content. If there's a copyright claim already, I'm not allowed to publish my video. If it's not claimed, I get a warning that says sort of, are you sure you want to load up this video because the right holders can make a claim on your video? And then I have a few options. I can dispute it and claim that it's fair use. Fair use could be like a parody of a song or it could be, like in this case, in an educational purpose. So if I get a warning on this video when I'm loading it up, I'm gonna dispute it beforehand and write an explanation so the right holders can see that I tried to do it in an educational purpose and probably they won't claim it. It's also that I don't have a commercial channel. I don't make money from YouTube. 
I need 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours before I can make some money from ad revenue and things like that. So that also makes it easier for me to play a cover song on YouTube. If I would have a commercial channel, I can search for a synchronization license, which isn't hard to do. And that means that the money from my video doesn't go to me, it goes to the right holders, the songwriters. I know that some bands and artists, Lazy DZ, Guns N' Roses, Prince, doesn't allow anything. But some artists and bands and record labels are open-minded. They know that the spreading of the song benefits them also. How is it on Facebook and Instagram? Well, that's very, very tricky. First of all, don't ever use a recorded copyright anywhere. It's even so that if you're making a video at a cafe, for example, and there's music in the background, that video can be taken down and you get a warning on your account because you can hear the music, the recorded music. It depends on a lot of factors. How long is the song? How obvious is the song? But you're better off not taking the risk. What annoys me, which I don't understand, is that you can use recorded music in your Instagram stories or Facebook. Facebook stories but you can't use it in a post and I don't understand why maybe it's just me let's say that you want to perform a cover song on Facebook in a live stream what do you have to think about to make that legal I've talked to Stim STIM which is the Swedish composers international music corporation sort of they take care of the songwriters rights as right holders for copyrighted material. You probably have the same kind of organization in your country if you're not in Sweden. And the rules are probably sort of the same. According to them, you can actually perform cover songs in a live stream on Facebook if you follow a few guidelines. First of all, you have to mention or write the composers, the songwriters' names, because they are the right holders of the songs you are performing. Either you mention them in your video or you write them down as soon as possible. What happens if you don't? Well, first of all, Facebook have to notice that you've done this. They have algorithms searching for this kind of stuff. And I know they have been pretty gentle now in the pandemic, but they are going to be harder on it. They probably will just take your video down, maybe even stop your live streaming. Facebook also knows that it's expensive to make a lawsuit, but if you're doing this in a bigger scale, you can be part of a lawsuit as well. The second thing have nothing to do with the right holders is that Facebook and Instagram doesn't want what they call a listening experience. If you have a still picture and perform songs, that's a no, according to them. If you're just sitting still and performing a song for the viewer's listening experience, that's a no for them. You have to have movement in your video and you have to interact with your audience. Talk to them, ask for requests, things like that. And the third thing is that money can't be involved. You can't have advertisement, product placement or ask for money in your video. Because then you have to have a license from the publishing company to perform those songs. It's sort of the same as with YouTube. If you're a commercial channel, you have to have a synchronization license. Same thing here. If money is involved, you have to have a license. This is a slippery slope. It really is. And it's hard to know all the rules. I've linked to a few videos that takes this further if you're interested. Link is down below. Slippery in Swedish is hall. Hall. I hope you found that interesting. Please comment down below what you think about these rules, what you would like to change, what the best thing would be for both you as a performer, for the viewer and the songwriters, the right holders. Until next time, Roger that.